He is investigating a leaf, as you can see. This is a flower, not a leaf. This is a flower, not a leaf. This is a fruit set of a tomato. NPK. The NPK Show. NPK. To all the listeners around the world. We are podcast 149, MPK Live. So we were at Autopot yesterday, weren't we? Yeah, we was. Um, we had a look around the lab. We yeah. did some education with Jason. Yeah. Uh, I taught Jason how to grow chili plants. Yeah. He's very grateful. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's very funny. And we've got uh, meetings with Canna today. Canna yeah. came over to give you gorgeous gloves. Yeah. They are phenomenal. Well, let, let's rewind a second because... Uh, now just one you... second okay I taught Jason to grow some chilies. no you and now we've got <laughs> Jason the trip with Jason it, now that Jason's not with us uh, we can just talk about him now and, and he, he'll never hear it, hear it so we can say whatever we want about him yeah he's great he is he's a legend of the industry yes he is yeah I couldn't have put that better myself he is a legend of our industry um, he's an inspiration of our industry mm. He inspired me. Yeah. Um, he's a he's a no bullshit person as well. He, he doesn't. He, he's a very hands on person. No frills. No frills. Just skills. <laughs> and um, well done, Jason. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, uh, uh, sincerely, thank you very much for ta- letting us spend the time with you, looking after us, and showing us what you do on your day-to-day basis uh, right. and letting us film it and getting involved with us. So, yeah, back to what are we doing today? Oh, we are, we are recording. We're doing some cinematic trailers. Uh, trailer one, trailer two. Get Ooh. people excited for season cinematic two. Cinematic trailers, season two for the MPK show. Yeah, and we'll be starting to do some of the recording for the bulk of the episodes. We've got Kana with us. Yeah. He'll come down to say hello today. Yes. And then tomorrow... We are busy again, all day filming. Well, the, to be honest, they didn't just come to say hello. They come to see me, obviously. Do you know what I mean? You thought he was just coming to say hello. They obviously just come all the way to see me because it's my belated birthday today. I know, you are old. Yeah, thank That's you. That's what you get when you're old, you get gloves. And what can I? Next uh, year it'll be a leather hat to keep those ears warm. Cody, can we mute and him? And some woolly socks. We, we need to mute him out of this one. So with 38th birthday is a woolly hat and 39th is woolly socks and 40th birthday is big 4-0, you get woolly underpants. Oh, thank you very much. So what's your ex- excuse for a woolly beard then? Um, anyway. I'm preparing for the apocalypse. A caveman. So for my belated birthday, I um, kind of brought me a lovely present. Uh, I'm just looking at it through the window right now and it's a like handcrafted wooden box uh, all burnt with the it, 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 how, how do they burn etch it with the with the kind of logo well, like a, a it's not a solder it's too neat to be a solder but it looks like I don't know Holly's going to run in right now and tell us how they etch the cannon onto the box Holly or Josh <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they put some nice kind of gifts in there for me mm-hmm. um, but most of all uh, Josh I know has been uh, I think I don't know if he's singly single handedly but I know he's been the main engine behind my customised kind of MPK gloves. And the, listen, see when they say custom, I thought they might have had a bit of stitching on them, but they've got this gorgeous rubber black background with the three individual leaves, the MPK and the live underneath. Yeah. Super and custom. When I got them out of the packy, I thought, I didn't even realise because I'm a bit of a dope, aren't I? Uh, I forgot to take the wrapper off. Didn't I? You know, like the way the way some of our customers forget to take the wrapper off the lights. Yeah. And they switch the lights off on, sorry. And there's the plastic being to think, well, lucky I never made the same mistake. And I was educated by Holly and Josh that I need to take the wrapper off my custom design gloves. 37 birthdays and you still don't realise you've got to take the wrapper off first. So a big thank you to Connie for uh my belated birthday presents. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good at the old Bertie presents, aren't oh, they? To be honest, they are pretty good. Uh, pretty good at a few things, to yeah. be honest. Well, I got a trip to Prague, so... <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Not bad at all, is it? <laughs> and a birthday cake. Yeah, no, yeah. 
I beat that. Did you? Yeah, I beat it and, and Canada had to carry it over. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like your Chili's was so the best, better you, than Jason's. Yeah. You've, you've asked uh, me what I'm up to today. I've told you I'm super busy. What are you up to today? So m- me, basically, I'm um, just in charge of podcasts today, making sure podcast is running tip top and super smooth. Oh, as, as usual. Always. Um, we've got the MPK media team here again another day. They were with us yesterday. They're with us today. They'll be They'll with us tomorrow. As be well. with us tomorrow. Um, they practically live here with us now. I just think you should get a house and move up to Liverpool. Yeah, Brum's dead. Yeah, Liverpool's where it's all. Yeah, at. yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff been going on. Yeah, yesterday, got a lot of today, work. A lot of work tomorrow before before podcast 150 next week as well yeah if you've noticed this is a bit of a chill out podcast because we're taking it easy yeah we're waiting we're, we're getting our back strong for the backlash that is gonna occur after Friday well, what, May the what, what, what do you think do you think that we should get um, Canna's Canna's um, what, what's the uh, spokesperson um, namely Josh because he's like a media person so I'm sure Josh is dying to be on the podcast um, he's never been on the podcast Looking before. Looking pretending he can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Josh could enlighten us with some weird. And then stuff. Holly's going to come and do some singing. Yeah, uh, yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you haven't heard Holly sing, yeah, yeah, and you need to follow her Instagram. Okay, a lovely voice. Okay, so we're going to say get... the same for Josh, though. Yeah, <laughs> we never know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard him sing actually. We've still... Josh and Holly duet. We could... Elton John and Kiki D. Don't go breaking my heart. Boom, there we go. There Let's we go. go. That's it, sorted. sorted. Don't go breaking my heart. Um, you doing the next part? Josh is doing the next part. He's coming in now. No, you sing, you be Kiki D. But I couldn't if I tried. I don't know that song. Oh, you're fair. terrible. Yeah, Holly Josh, I, come on, take yeah, over. Yeah, because I listen to good music, sorry. Um, that was, you definitely don't. You were slating Return of the Mac last night on the car. So, let's see where Josh actually is. He's walking through. He's opening the door. He's coming in. And Josh, you're going to go on Steez. So, Josh, hi. Hello. You are who? I'm Josh. I'm marketing coordinator for Canada UK. Oh, very good. Now, Josh, I've known you about a while now. How long is that? How long? Uh, how long? A couple of years? No. No? A year? Eight months. Is that it? We first met at Boardmasters 2017. That was it? Yeah, it's not even... Yeah, yeah. But, so me and Josh, we met at Boardmasters... And Josh is like one of our IT guys to me. That's what I uh, that's what I see in Josh. Professional so, and uh, does oh, good work. Oh, even very funny, Stephen. Yeah. Hey, you're always at it again, aren't yeah. you? So, Josh, because you've always been a good pal to me, I'm going to give you my hand and I'm going to say welcome to MPK's podcast. It's a pleasure to have you on. I'm glad to see you're still at Canna and you haven't decided to jump ship and maybe go to somebody else or anywhere else or... Yeah, well, thank you for having me it's been one of my dreams to be on the MPK oh, podcast well, since I've been in the industry there you go see I, I, he said to me last week since he was five years old he's always he's always dreamed about being on the podcast used to even before the podcast used to little get say I, I can sense a, a hint of sarcasm in, in the air there so what what's up and coming for you for this year, this year anyway, Josh? You so, got going to board masters? Are you yeah, assume? so up and coming for us at Canada UK. First, we've got a board masters. That's August eighth to the thirteenth. Then we're going straight to Autopop the weekend after, where we're representing Canada again. And then later in the year, we'll be in Canada Fest again. So what does your what what do you have to do? What's your what do they normally what chores do they give you to do? What what what's your role within Canada? So on a on a day to day basis, all the marketing promo so I'm look after uh, me and Holly, the marketing manager. We write the marketing plan together, gather all the analysis together, and then work on the strategy for the following year with Ellie. That's mainly the main role, and then yeah, just day to day day to day marketing activities. So you know, you know, when I see you sitting around chilling out at Boardmasters on bean bags, having a, a having a beer on a bean bag, is that like part of that strategical? It's, it's mainly networking. Oh, oh, okay. He's networking. That's what he's saying. I'm sure I've heard you say you've been doing a lot of networking I lately. Just to ask, can I start doing some more networking? Oh, I've got a, I've got a few places to go to to net. Network. Well, hopefully, if it makes you as good as Josh, I might have to let you do some networking. In inverted commas, drink beer, sit on lovely <laughs> yeah. Cornish. Beaches. If there's any networking doing me, I'll be doing the networking. <laughs> Definitely. I'm also the best bartender Spanabis has seen in a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Your your job role is chief networker, <laughs> yes. Thomas. Yes, that's a, that sounds and you do right. very very well. I'd There's happen- nobody that sits on beer mags and drinks beer better than you. Thank you. I, I, I'd happily take that title any day. Is that title up for grabs next week on podcast one fifty? Or chief networker? Yes. Network. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I might actually actually put myself up for that award. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> well, this is just a little quick podcast to at- attach on to our yesterday's podcast. Yes, we did a podcast yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so, Josh, thank you very much for stepping yeah. into the booth, and yeah. uh, it's a pleasure. And I will see you at plenty more venues. Yep. Big thank you for having me, and big thanks to the MPK team. Pleasure. What What, what have you got planned now? Because you just decided you want to do podcasts so what, what else have you got going on well we are going to go downstairs and we're going to do some blue screen and stuff and we're going to be in some amazing crazy places that we're going to magically teleport to probably okay so is this actually the end of the podcast now or are you going to maybe do something else later we never know okay we so we may be back yes we, we maybe not and if you hear a song then that means this is the end yeah and we'll see you next week and if not um stay tuned <laughs> bye bye We are Podcast 149, MPK Live, and we are at Autopot HQ. Well, actually, I'm in the booth the day after recording the intro for yesterday's podcast today. Super confusing, but we're just going to get straight into the podcast with Jason, myself, and Thomas. It was a great day. You're going to enjoy the podcast. Welcome to Podcast 149. 149. No, same, no, in James. Oh, was you? Yeah. Nah, he's actually right. So it's one, pod, podcast 149. This is a bit of a different podcast, to say the least. We're actually out on road recording the MPK show. And I've just picked up the microphone and I've just started the a podcast. Um, it's willy nilly starting podcast now. Willy nilly, yeah. Do you want to say hello? Hello. Who I'm Stephen. Hello, I'm Thomas. And hello. Hello, Thomas. How are you? Who are you? I'm Jason. Hi, Jason. So that means we are, must be at some, some, something to do with Autopot, yeah? We are the Autopot R&D facility. Oh, now that that's sounds... Fancy name, yeah, Autopot R&D facility. Now, uh, we come down last night to, to get to get ready for work this morning. Um, bit of recording for the the MPK show. Yeah, hopefully the audio will actually not fail this time because we did a brilliant podcast at Spanibus. Yeah, we did. The first one with Jason. And I've learned my lesson, actually, always make sure the least important person does the recording first, because if their audio goes, it's not the biggest deal. <laughs> Don't start with, like, the most important first and work your way down. But there you go, lesson learned. Lesson learned. It only took 150 podcasts. Ah, well, I must still learning every day. Yeah. So we've come down to the Autopot R&D facility to get cracking with the MPK episode show. Episode six, of the, and we're doing Autopot. The, the final, episode five, was all about systems. And we thought we're better to come to finish systems than the Autopot R&D facility. So we're going to start recording the show and we're going to intermittently cut in and out of podcast when we decide to talk about something interesting. Okay, cool. Sounds great to me. How are you anyway, Jason? I'm very good. How are you? Do you have a nice... Uh, I, I, yes, well, to be honest, that's what I was going to say. Last night I had a lovely sleep and I had some lovely, fabulous food. I had some um, tomato soup with some... White. Actual grown tomatoes. What what was the white yogurt sauce called? Oh, creme fresh. Creme fresh. Creme fresh. Tomato. Life has been lit up with Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, which we had with apple pie, which was fabulous as well. Um, we had a really good evening, didn't we? Did. We was looked after uh, ever so kindly by yourself, Jason. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, yes, well. thank you very much. Um, so yes, we are nice and fresh and bushy tail today for uh, a long day of recording. This is podcast one four nine, and we're gonna get we're getting ourselves ready for next week's podcast one fifty. Well, there's a lot of shit going on in the industry at the moment, and yeah. um, we're gonna talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. We've got, I'm really looking forward to Jay from Agile to Grow. Uh, if you don't know, unfortunately, we're gonna lose him. Yeah, uh, he's he's moving away from the industry, and so therefore he has got. No bridges left to cross. He's going to burn all bridges. You know what I'm, you know what I'm interested in? What you two was talking about last night. You was talking about some, some bits and bobs going on in our industry last oh, night. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. top secrets and some undisclosed conversations here and there. I don't even know whether we can go into that I on this podcast. You're going to have to tune in for I think, 50 tomorrow. Yeah, oh, yeah I, think, I, think so. I think they would. Yeah. Uh, because I think I'd, I'd get slaughtered alive. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a second. Let's go and record some show. 
So basically, we've just done first, first, uh, done the introduction to the episode six, haven't we? Um, we're going to start getting into the show. Um, we're moving around into the propagation stage yeah. now. And we're going to get some top tips from Jason, mm. which I'm le- really looking forward to. To be honest with you, Jason, your R&D facility is phenomenal. It really is, really. I think it's the cleanest it's ever been, guys. <laughs> 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 to be honest, that was something I was going to pick up on as well, because... I've I've noticed the floor is really good. What is the what is the floor? It's wet room, wet room floor wet that you room. have in showers. Okay. So basically, we brought some. The very we built it when we yeah. ke- when we when we bought the warehouse. There was one plug socket in the whole warehouse. We put this mess in, and then we got the guys in to put the wet room because obviously, if I have any leaks up here, I don't want it going into the offices mm-hmm. below. Wow. When they were laying it, because there was no. Um, control environmental fans or anything it was actually a really hot three days and it got up to 54 degrees when wow. they were laying the floor wow in here it was hot That's 54 degrees they were sweated in egypt 36 degrees and it was like unbearable you couldn't yeah. even go out in the sun yeah, it was shade like all day time. we've got some propagate and listen i'm going to say this once and once only if the audio file corrupts it's not my fault but Jason's chilly pants look better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Moving on. <laughs> so basically, I'm in the R&D facility. Uh, come up the stairs and you walk in. And it's a, wow. It's a, a large, large space. Uh, what size is it? Uh, 400 square feet. 400 square feet. And to be honest, it's phenomenal. And what, what, I, what I can't resist about mentioning it, mentioning that's another word for the for the podcast by me. Yeah, for my dictionary. Uh, is the bees that I can see that you've got in, in these boxes, mm. these natu poles. So basically, they're naturally pollinating your plants. Well, the amount of plants that I've got, Thomas, is yeah. I have to have pollinators. Otherwise, I'll just get no produce, get no chilies, get no tomatoes. I'll have to shake them every morning and every evening yeah. or get a toothbrush that vibrates. So the best option... Is basically to use the bees. So I bring a bee box in probably every three weeks. A lot of them get escape or a lot of them get eaten by the spiders in here. But it just makes it perfect and a natural environment for everything to thrive. Listen to this. Let's have a little listen. Right, we're going to take the lid off the bees. We're not going to disturb them at all. We're just going to have a little listen to see what they're up to. I'm going to stick the microphone in. Let's have a little listen, see what these guys are up to. I wouldn't like to get on the wrong side of those guys. That, if you're wondering, is the humidifiers. And it's quite warm in here, so when those humidifiers come on with the lovely spray of cold mist, it does not feel good. No, it's, um, without it, I've got a desert up here, and all I can grow is cacti. So to maintain the humidity, I need a decent compressor that I had designed and manufactured in the state specifically for this um, R&D facility. It's a good piece of kit. And... It just works 24-7, keeps everything looking beautiful, and uh, as you know, environment's key. Yeah. So we finished off uh, with propagation. We were looking at the propagation trolleys, and then we moved around the R&D facility at Autopot, and we looked at all the different systems, but obviously looking at systems and talking about it on podcasts can be a little bit boring. So we've finished our YouTube show, yeah. episode six, yeah, and we thought we'd catch up and finish off the podcast speak to our friend jason yeah and what better way to do a prequel to 150 when all hell is going to be let loose than to speak to jason yeah. <laughs> well, i've got nothing to do with it boys <laughs> absolutely nothing you're, to do you're, with you orchestrated this all oh i probably did in the eyes of the beholder yeah i may <laughs> well have done but uh, no i think you reap what you sow in the end of the day you know if you behave unscrupulously in the industry or in a ungentlemanly fashion then it comes out on top in the end and um, we'll see over the coming months what happens to you know all concerned and uh, at the end of the day you know we're just cracking on with business and just doing what Autopot do and trying to put Autopot in the world and create it as a global brand and well, we I have think got the Hydro Awards coming up as well on podcast we 150 have. Yeah. 15 awards I believe there might be a little whisper of Autopot might even be up for a nomination oh really Maybe, maybe, who knows, or it could be Go Grow, who knows? Um, but yeah, that's going to be fun to see how the Hydro Awards uh, get on. I know. Jay, from Hydro to Grow, yeah. he's going to be giving, dishing out the dirt. We've got Slim. Yeah. We've got Aiden from Hydro Pro Washington. 
Yeah. We have also nearly got Colin from Natural Growth. Okay. He's just got to confirm. He's promised. He, he has promised me this time he's coming on. So we've got people from all over the UK. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting to say the least. Yeah. There's a lot of shit going on in the industry at the moment. People leaving. People copying products. Yeah. People talking behind people's backs. Yeah. Um, a lot of stuff that really takes away from how good the industry is as well. A lot of bitching. Yeah. So to speak. Yeah. So if you're interested in what's been going on and our thoughts, well, it's we not love a good bit of bitching. We do. And it's not only the awards, it's also a chance for us to constructively to give constructive criticism to those who haven't done so well in 2017. And also to give a praise to where the praise is due. Yeah. And, you know, there's going to be some, some people who are going to win some actual awards from, from us. I believe we've actually spent at least a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, seriously, uh, there's some fancy awards being designed and created for, for the ceremony. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see you, who comes out on top and stuff like that. And well deserved to, to, to those people. Absolutely. Now, whilst we've been speaking, we've been with Jason from yesterday and today. Um, I think it, the people who deserve a shout out as well in this podcast are people who've worked very hard. They're from St. Helens, mm. and I think they deserve a shout out. The, and this just is put, proof in the pudding of where hard work can get you. Uh, who am I talking about, Jason? You're talking about CBD Empire, Paul and Carl. Um, three years ago, four years ago, they managed to obtain a license from the Home Office. Unfortunately, in September they lost it, or it was temporarily suspended, and then I came on the show and we had a little bit of a push for them. Um, and fortunately, whether it was our help or whether it was the Home Office, just seeing a little bit of common sense, because these guys are trying to do good in the industry, um, they're, over the last 10 days, two weeks, their license has been renewed. They can now go full steam ahead with medical cannabis production. They're in talks with the NHS to create something for the NHS. So at the moment, the, the future's looking bright for CBD Empire. Um, they've got plans for this year um, where we're going to be growing in large smart pots and growing big Christmas trees. Um, and, yeah, I think, you know, with my help as a consultant and those guys with the licence, I think we can probably go a long, long way in helping a lot of people in the UK with any ailments that CBD and THC products actually offer. It's nice that they're from the North West as well, represent the North West. Because yeah. we're not a bad bunch of Northerners, you know, you know, geez. No, not too bad. I mean, I take a translation book with me whenever I go <laughs> so I can understand what's going on. But at the end of the day, these are good guys and yeah. they so deserve a crack. you've got one as well because we've got one also. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you go <laughs> south, south, south of the border. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Before we wrap up, uh, the chilli trial. It's mm. been going really well. I'm, I'm actually... I think your ass got well into the <laughs> Enough about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are we talking about next? No, the chili trial's gone really well. If you, you'll, if you look at episode six on the YouTube show in a few weeks' time, you, you'll see the difference in plants and the biggest. The, and Jason can correct me here, but the biggest reason for the difference in plants is just the the much better environment that Jason's got going on in the R and D. It is paradise. They, uh, they, they, they're just loving it, aren't it's they? It's a bit hot and humid for me, but the plants love oh, it. The plants look look how happy they are. They're all smiling. But you've also got to remember, Steve, that. I'm a grower and you're a scientist. And we did throw down the gauntlet and my plants are, what, four feet taller than yours? Yeah, and that's why I did laugh when I heard about that, that, that you threw down the gauntlet. Listen, let me, we can go back and listen to the podcast. I didn't actually challenge Jason. It was challenging the microbe misconception. I still believe when science has its way at the end of the trial and we look to get up and, and out we, of reading the book do I, don't, yeah. I don't think there was ever much doubt that Jason is a far superior grower to me Ooh. that was never in doubt but what is in doubt and which is what we're going to find out mm. is how much of an impact do microbes make versus not using microbes mm. my personal trial I saw that the ones that had microbes had a much better start to life they were just happier quicker you know what I can see do you want to tell you do you want me to tell you what I can see here Jason is you're growing all different bits and bobs of media and mm. nutrients and bits of stuff, but you're using one consistent thing, mm. autopot. Mm. And I know every single thing in here looks great. Mm. Mm. It is, it's a lot of dedication, a lot of time. And I spend probably 
70% of my time up here because, you know, I want it to look nice. I obviously, I needed to make it look nice and tidy for when you guys came down because it can get a bit chaotic at times. But, no, I'm happy with it. But it evolves. It changes. You know, the yeah. chilli plants will grow. We'll do our trials. We'll do the leaf analysis. We'll do the Scoville tests on the chilies. And then we'll probably cut them down, keep a few, or maybe take cuttings and start again. But, yeah, the whole place evolves all the time. If I think of all the different plants and all the different layouts that I've had over the last three or four years since I've had this facility, it's changed yeah. all the time. But it, I love it up here. It's absolutely it brilliant. Amazing. It, it really look, does look amazing. It feels amazing. Mm. It's a nice place. It is a nice place to be. And what I'd like to point out on the podcast, we want to give top tips to growers. During part of the YouTube show that we've just recorded, a great thing happened. We were looking at the citrus plant. And there was a deficiency within it. Now, explain, Jason, because you'll, you, you'll tell the story much better. It, what, what was the deficiency due to? Did you run straight to the shop and get a cat, bottle of Calmac? Because that solves all deficiencies. No, well, in, in actual fact, I probably run to the garden centre and bought some Epsom salts because it's just as effective and people don't realise. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, it, when people go into hydro stores and have issues with their plants at home in their greenhouse or whatever they're growing... It's not always a good idea to give something more to try and make it better. It doesn't necessarily work that way. So it's always prudent, one, to make sure your environment's correct because if your environment's not correct regard, regarding humidity and temperature, then you're fighting a losing battle straight away because the plant can't transpire properly, it can't perform as it's supposed to do, and the, the plant just will not take up the nutrients and you end up with what people call lockout. In essence, that is created by the environment. If your pH isn't in the right range, which it wasn't with the, with the yuzu plants that we were growing, the, 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 the uh, lemon tree plants from Japan, because I'd forgot to calibrate the pH, and because they were growing in cocoa, and because they're the lemon genus, it needs to be a lot lower on the pH scale of around 5, 5, 5, 6. And then as the water hits the cocoa in the bottom of the pot, it slightly rise and probably aim to be about 6 to 6.3 once you're doing a sample out of the tray. If you don't do that, then there's a systemic issue with the plant being able to take up the nutrients. It's not necessary always to run and pile something on top of a problem because it doesn't resolve necessary what's wrong with the plant. 99 times out of 100, it's generally an environment issue. But if you don't get your pH right, then it's not in the right range for the plant to be able to take up the relevant nutrients in the liquid or in the soil, and then you're going to fight a losing battle. But if you take into account pH and environment and always look at those two things under a microscope, you shouldn't really go far wrong. You're not allowed to use my microscope. You're not a scientist. <laughs> No. Not until you, you fix the, the auto valve. No, I'll, I'll try and rectify that for you, and I hope it beams you off into distant planets. To the library. To the library. <laughs> so, so do I, because I'm fed up tra travelling everywhere in this YouTube show. I want to I appear places like Thomas has been. Have you got anything to say, Podcast 149, to wrap up to everybody that's going to be listening to 150? Have you got a message to the industry? Because it's been a bit chaotic. I have, really. I mean... Try and be nice and try and be understanding. Try and understand that people also want to make a living and people shouldn't really jump on other people's curtails to, to, to get one over on them. Um, there's a lot of nice people in the industry. There's also a lot of unnice people in the industry. But one thing that my mother told me, don't spend time with the people you don't like, always spend time with the people that you do like. A life, life's a lot simpler then. And at the end of the day, like... We know I'm a grower and I just want to grow, teach people how to grow, get the best, best out of their plants. And with Autopot, I have a simple system that makes it very open and I available you to say plants. Get the pest out of your plants. Get the pest out of your plants. <laughs> yeah, <he's... laughs> well, fortunately, we haven't got any pests. Yeah. So we're completely I don't know if I was any pest in your pants. Oh, no. I was going to say your beard. But just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big industry out there. There's a lot going on. And it's, you know, it can be cutthroat, like most industries, but you just rise above it in the end and just get on with doing what you want to do in life. If you spend all your time worrying what other people are trying yeah. to do to you or do for themselves, then you just won't concentrate on what you're trying to achieve. Cream rises to the top, and yeah. that is evidenced by the amount of creme fraiche you had in the soup last night. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Or yoghurt, yeah. as it's well known. Yes. Soft yoghurt. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Anything to say to f- finalise 149, Thomas? Just that it's been a, a, re- a great couple of days with Jason. Uh, thank you very much for bring, oh, bringing please. us to the Autopot R&D facility and letting us inside uh, this top secret space and have a look at uh, you kicking Stephen's backside. <coughs> but, Coatsy, I think we end it there now. Your best tuning for next week, it's going to be heavy.